Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate rate constant by using rate law expression from the experimental data. And I will show you how you can calculate the unknown concentration value of reactants in a chemical reaction by using rate law expression. This is a problem given here and the problem says that the reaction between reactant A and reactant B is first order with respect to A and zero order with respect to B. And it says that fill in the blanks in the following table. You can see that there are some experimental data is value given here. These are the blanks where we have to plug in the values. We have to find these values. You can see that there are two reactants in the chemical reaction. Then the chemical reaction is A plus B and C is equal to product. This is the chemical reaction. And so this condition, it says that first orders with respect to A, order of reaction with respect to A is uh, first orders. It is one and the zero order with respect to reactant B, it is zero orders. Now we can write down the rate law expression for this chemical reaction. Here we have rate R is equal to K is a rate constant and so reactant A, it is a uh, product of reactants uh, raised to power of their respective coefficients. And so yeah, order of reaction. Here you can see that uh, the order of reaction uh, uh, with respect to uh, reactant A is one and order of reaction with respect to reactant B is zero. This is the rate law expression for this chemical reaction. Now, we can use the values experimental data and first we need to find out the rate constant K value. But then we can find out the concentration, uh, con unknown concentration of reactant. Well, in the first experimental data, you can see that the concentration of both reactant is given and the rate of reaction is also given. We can plug in this value in rate law expression and we can find out K value. R value is 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2. Here I put of 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 is equal to K. And here we have A, A value is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and raised to power 1. And here we have B, B value is 0 0.1 and raised to power 0. This section will become 1 because uh, we apply the concept x to power 0 is equal to 1. This is the concept we apply here. Now we can do the calculation to find out k value. We can uh, transfer the value first. Let me write this expression 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 is equal to here we get 0 0.1 and k. We can transfer 0 0.1 on left side. Then as a result, the setup which we get that is 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 and upon 0 0.1. We can divide the value here. We have 2.0 is divided by 0 0.1. And the value which we get that is 20 as it can be uh, 20 here we have 20 it can be written as 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power 1 here we have 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power 1 multiplied by 0. Point, uh, 10 to power minus 2 and in multiplication exponents are added here we have we can uh, we get 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 and this value can be written as 0. 0.2 this is the rate constant value here we got the rate constant value from the first experimental data k value is uh, k value is 0 0.2 now we move on to the second uh, experimental experimental data you can see that the concentration of reactant a is unknown that we have to find out we can rate uh, we can use rate law expression we can plug in these values and so k value is also known and so this will be the only component which will be unknown. We can do the calculation and we can find out a value. Let's do it. Here we have uh, for the second experimental data, rate of reaction is given 4.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2. Here we have 4.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 is equal to k value is 0 0.2. And so bracket a, a to powers 1 and b to powers, the concentration of b is given here that is 0 0.2. Here we can plug in 0 0.2 and so raised to power 0. This section will become 1. Now we can find out a value. We can transfer 0 0.1 on left side. Here we get a is equal to 4.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 and so upon here we get 0 0.2. We can cancel it. Here we get 2.0. Here we have 2.0 upon 0 0.1 and so multiplied by 10 to power minus 2. We can divide it. Here we get 0, 2.0 divided by 0 0.1. The value which we get that is 20. Here we get 20 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2. It can also be written as 0 0.2. This is the value which we get. 
as a concentration of reactants here we get 0.2 we can plug in this value and it is in mole per liters yeah in molarity it can also be written as molarity now we move on to the third experimental data in the third experimental data uh, the concentration of the both reactant is given and we have to find out uh, r value well let's plug in the values here k value is known and uh, the rate we plug in the values in rate law expression r value is to be determined r is equal to this let me write this one is for the third part and uh, the concentration of both reactant is same 0 0.4 0 0.4 so let me put up here k value is 0 0.2 bracket 0 0.4 raised to power 1 and here we have 0 0.4 and raised to power 0 this section will become 1 because raised to power 0 is there now the value which we get 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.4 raised to power 1 then we get the same value we can multiply here 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.4 and the value which we get that is 0 0.08 and we can write it in scientific notation here we get 8.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 this is the rate of reaction for the third experimental data here we have 8.0 multiplied by it is decimal and multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 and this unit is mole per liters per minute now we move on to the third fourth uh, fourth experimental data in this uh, in fourth experimental data the concentration of the reactant is unknown it is quite similar to to the third one well we can plug in the values we use the rate like expression against r value is 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 here we have 2.0 let me mention fourth experimental data and 10 to power minus 2 and k value is 0 0.2 a value is unknown and raised to power 1 and here we have b value the concentration of b is 0 0.2 here we have 0 0.2 and raised to power 0 this section will become 0 and as a result here we get a is equal to we can transfer 0 0.2 on left side here we get 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 as a result here at the bottom we get 0 0.2 sorry it is 0 0.2 now we can divide here we get 1.0 and at the bottom we get 0 0.1 if we divide 1.0 by 0 0.1 the value which we get uh, 10 here we have 10 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 and 10 to powers here we have it is divided by it can also be written as here we have 10 upon so it can be written as 100 0, 0, 0 0.1 here we get let me confirm the value 10 upon 100 and the value which we get 0 0.1 this is the concentration of reactant for the fourth experimental data here we get 0 0.1 you can see how i calculated the rate constant value by using rate law expression then i calculated the concentration of uh, unknown concentration of reactant by using rate constant value after determining uh, the k value rate constant uh, rate constant k value and uh, here we calculated the rate of reaction also when the concentration of both reactant is given so first we determine k value then we can use rate law expression to find out the rest unknown values thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on facebook and twitter to sharpen your skills please try out our test series on livetotalage.com thank you so much for watching have a great day